Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Let's do the whole darn weekend. Saturday, January the 18th, is National Use Your Gift Card Day. So if you got one for Christmas, folks, use that gift card. <laughs> it's also National Michigan Day, National Peking Duck Day. So you know why they call it that? I don't. Because the ducks are just peeking today. Like they have their eyes wide open tomorrow. <laughs> oh. I have never had that. Peking. P E K I N G. Have duck. you ever had it? No. I have no, not. me either. Uh, National Thesaurus Day, National Winnie the Pooh Day. And then uh, Sunday, January the nineteenth is World Quark Day, Q U A R K. What's that? I don't know. And it's uh, National Popcorn Day on uh, January the 19th. All of that stuff happening this weekend. And I've got Bill Foster joining me. And I'm excited to chat with Bill. He's in several movies now. But he used to be a teacher, and then he was a principal, and then he was a school administrator. So he's got kind of an interesting path that took him into doing films. So uh, I looked up World Quark Day, by the way. It's to celebrate quarks and its many benefits. That really didn't clear anything up. Quark is a European <laughs> superfood, superfood staking its claim. Oh, okay. On, <laughs> apparently, it's uh, supposedly delicious, high protein, low fat alternative to soft cheese and yogurt. <laughs> I will rush right out and get me some. Or not. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Student loan debt is out of control for many people. Are you one of them? The average graduate walks away with anywhere from $25,000 to $40,000 in student loans. Believe it or not, 2% even manage to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have several different student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at singlestudentloan.com. If you have only one student loan, we may be able to offer you a better rate to help you get that loan paid off sooner at singlestudentloan.com. That's singlestudentloan.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A survey by Orkin found Washington, D.C. is the city with the most bed bugs in the United States of America. Yuck. It says here, New York used to top I the list. I knew it was full of parasites. I just <laughs> didn't know they were full of bed bugs New York well. used to top the list. Now it's uh, Washington, D.C. bed bug Yuck. of America. Got a link to that. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is Your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. A Bellevue man is accused of urinating in a bed in a rampage uh, when a lady asked him to move over. 40-year-old Damon Edward Jolin, charged with simple domestic battery after the incident. He was in a bed with a woman. He had been drinking. The victim said she was lying in the bed, and she said, hey, can you move over? And he didn't move. She said, hey, can you move over? This is my bed, not your bed. And that's when he urinated all over the bed. <laughs> Oh, that's so disgusting. She asked him to leave. He got angry, punched the bedroom TV, cracked the screen. He was arrested, taken to jail on a $500 bond. It's because he had been pretty well intoxicated. Yikes. You don't make the best choices when you've been drinking. Mm-mm. Not usually. But that is what happens when your brain is on drugs. This story is on the website timeforrehab.com. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. We mentioned this the other day, but I got more details here. CBS has officially greenlit. Is that the right way to say that? That's how they say it. Yeah. That just doesn't sound right. They greenlit it? Okay. They've given the green light to Silence of the Lambs spinoff, Clarice. That's what it's going to be called. We didn't so know that the other day. So is it her? Well, it's her as the character, but I don't know if it's her Not as Jody the actress. Foster, I don't know. Right. It's supposed to be one year after the movie, so she's like 30 years older or 20 years older, so I doubt it's probably her. Uh, but I do have a link to the story if you want to read it. I don't really I, I care, just don't so. know that I could watch it as with anybody else as that character. Give him a chance, man. Joker topped all films for Oscar noms this last week. Oscar nominations came out. 11 of those went to The Joker. 
and uh, The Irishman, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and 1917 all got 10. So they all did pretty darn well as yeah, well. Wow. So these are all just nominations. The Oscars have not happened yet. They don't have a host. I don't know <laughs> when it is. I don't know. Sometime. Somewhere on some channel. Thanks for listening to Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. It's a new year. Have you made a resolution to quit drinking or to finally get away from drugs for good? These are both habits that are hard to kick, but you can do it. We want to help you. TimeForRehab.com is here to help you find the help you need with your particular situation. If you want to make this year the year you get the help you need to live a normal life again, start with a little help from us at TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Now, your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. An 86-year-old South Carolina man, keep in mind he's 86, 86. was just arrested for armed bank robbery. What? Why are you doing that at 86? He must not have had a good retirement plan. No. But now he'll have a place to stay. That makes me sad, actually. So, yeah, it's very sad. I've got a link to that story. Also, the world's richest man, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, has now been slammed online for donating. He just donated $690,000 towards the Australian brush fires. Why is he being slammed for that? They're saying, that's all. Oh, good Lord. Other people are giving more than that. That's all. You're, you're the richest man in the world. That's all you're going to donate? If he hadn't donated anything, they'd be upset about that. If he donated $2 billion, that's, that's a lot. they'd be upset about that. So you know what? Here's the thing. If you're going to try to make the Twitter trolls happy, good luck. It ain't going to happen. That's a bizarre number, though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, six hundred ninety thousand dollars. I don't know. He yeah. probably calculated it somehow. Maybe, uh, maybe he reached out to them and said, "What do you need? Right. Whatever you need, I'll buy it." And they said, "We need this." So it's going to be six hundred ninety thousand right. dollars. Boom! That here you go. Yeah. I'll uh, send that over to you. Well, good for him. I, I think that I think so just too. The fact that he did anything is Kudos amazing to you. So there you go. Uh, Pinterest. I didn't even realize that was even still a thing. I didn't either. I have not looked at Pinterest for so many years. Are we on Pinterest? I have an account, I think, still, but I haven't been there. (laughs) How to make fancy (laughs) bell-bottoms. It's been a while since I've been on here. (laughs) Uh, Pinterest passed Snapchat as the third largest social media platform in the United States last year, 2019, according to eMarketer. Yeah. So Pinterest is bigger than Snapchat. I had no idea it was even Mm. still there. It is. Amazon uh, notified its third-party merchants this last week, saying that you can now resume using Federal Express Ground to ship out the Prime orders, according to Wall Street Journal. Amazon uh, had a ban that uh, went in effect about a month ago. Oh, I didn't know that. They weren't happy with how them packages were being handled. So they're like, yeah, no more FedEx Ground. Now they say, okay. They've served their time. We can let them back in. Okay. So, And Boeing. This is actually really sad news, but I also understand Boeing reported negative orders for 2019, meaning they had more orders on the beginning of 2019 and less at the end. They had more orders canceled in 2019 oh. than they had come in in 2019. Oh, man. By the way, this is the first time this has happened. Like, that's never happened. It hasn't happened in the last 30 years. They've been in business 30 years. In 30 years, that's never happened. But they had a couple of planes that had some issues, and they were working out the kinks on that. And there was, like, some story that came out from in Boeing where they were saying, oh, it was invented by a blind monkey or whatever it was. That, you know, that, So it wasn't necessarily a stellar year for them. We'll just say that. And uh, which books do you think were the most popular books to be uh, read by New Yorkers over the last 125 years, at least through the oh, library? 125 years? A Very Hungry Calip- Caterpillar, uh, oh, 1984. So, so we're even including children's yeah. books. And How to Win Friends and Influence People. Those were like the really? top three most checked out books of all time. And I've got a list of everything they've read. Not everything, but like the all of the popular books. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Student loan debt is out of control for many people. Are you one of them? The average graduate walks away with anywhere from $25,000 to $40,000 in student loans. Believe it or not, 2% even manage to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have several different student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at singlestudentloan.com. If you have only one student loan, we may be able to offer you a better rate to help you get that loan paid off sooner at singlestudentloan.com. That's singlestudentloan.com. 
Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with our guest today. He's uh, got a really cool past, and he's doing some really cool things right now. Bill Foster is our guest. Went from working in the education industry and being a principal and a school superintendent to now he's an actor and a writer, and we've got him on the line right now. Mr. Foster, how are you doing, sir? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Well, we appreciate you being on the program. Now, that's quite the path to go from being an educator and you know a <laughs> school superintendent, which a lot of people, that's kind of like their goal. They go, hey, I want to do something like that and you made it to the top over there and then said hey i'm gonna go be an actor now how in the world did that happen well i retired in january of 2016 after putting in 33 years in education i figured i tortured everybody long enough <laughs> i got out <laughs> and i was just sitting there one night looking on facebook and, and saw an open audition call for uh the sun which is starred pierce Brosnan and amc series and went and stood in line with 1500 other people thinking maybe i just might have a shot at being an extra where I could just walk down the street. Lo and behold, I was cast as a featured extra recurring character. Been a roller coaster fast ride ever since then. So people have maybe seen you there on the, the TV series The Sun, but then I'm looking yeah. through the list here of other things you've done, and I think this is really cool. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, that was a Netflix original. I watched that when that first came out, and, and it was just it was like, almost like a book. There were different chapters, and each chapter had a, a different story. Which chapter were you in? That's the very first one. Originally, that was made to uh, be a TV series, uh, oh. six parts, and then they changed it to one movie. I was afraid I might get cut out, but, but I got in there quite a bit. So That's yeah, awesome. I'm in, in, the, in the very first one, Tim Nelson, and, and you can see me really well when he starts singing and walking to the piano. I'm sitting there at the poker table smoking a cigar with a big top, ratty top hat on and uh, got a little funny, funny beard. They took my regular beard and trimmed it up to look rather different, so I'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to have to rewatch that now to check that out. Uh, but I see yeah. some other cool things you've had a chance to work on. Fear the Walking Dead uh, TV series, and I know there's a ton of people who are big fans of that as well, and uh, you've had kind of a recurring role there, haven't you? Yes, uh, season four, I was a vulture. You know, for those fans that watch uh, Fear the Walking Dead, they know exactly who those, that group was. It's kind of a vagabond, homeless group that was going to overthrow the main stars. And you know what the end result is when you try to overthrow the main stars. And so I got some good close-ups on that one, filmed over there, and then after they killed me, then I, they brought me back as a walker, and I finished out season four as a walker, and then they brought me back in season five as a walker. So, That's uh, awesome. Yeah, That's so you, I'm the smallest walker out there. I'm six foot four, so I kind of tower above <laughs> everybody else. So you really stand out, don't you? Yes, that's the only way I pick myself out. Uh, they don't allow any cameras or pictures or anything there, to, so you just guess it when you see the show, but the tallest one, that's me. That's awesome. Now, you're working on a project that's kind of near and dear to you, because this is like your project, Showdown on the Brazos. Tell me a little bit about this. Yes, yeah, Showdown on the Brazos. The Brazos is actually a river that runs across Texas, and so I wrote this script, and it started out very small, be a short movie, and it turned into uh, four or five actors that said they'd do it to over 200 now. Oh, Full wow. feature length, 123-page script. And uh, we're just uh, about going post-production, and it's a Western, a uh, very clean Western. It's, they don't make a whole lot of movies like that anymore, but I want the whole thing would be able to go see it. And so my grandkids are in it, so I want them to be able to go see it without uh, any problems, you know, of yeah. that nature. That's and really cool. So, uh, it's like the whole Saturday afternoon Western theater, that's, and that's the way I wrote it. And, you know, John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart, some of my heroes growing up, and so I wrote it in that fashion. And we've been filming off and on. You know, we, uh, just a small independent company, we can't film it all at once. So we've been filming a weekend here and a weekend there starting in January 2019. So we're just about to wrap it up. Well, I'm looking forward to that showdown on the Brazos. And when that comes out, I'd love to chat with you again so we can make sure to let folks know it's out. But you're wrapping the filming, then you got some post-production. I know that all takes some time, too, but do you kind of have an idea of when you'd like to see that come out? Hopefully in the spring or summer. Uh, there's a trailer if people want to check it out on YouTube. Very nice. I'll throw a link to that so everybody can get a chance to see that. And I, I want to say thank you for taking the time to chat. I think this has been a whole lot of fun, and, and I think it's really cool. You went from a, an amazing career as an educator to uh, now getting a chance to be in movies and even write and, and you know put together your own. What a fun what a fun thing. That's, that's really cool. Very much. I enjoyed it. Well, thank you again, sir. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Again, Bill Foster has been our guest today, uh, an actor, a writer, and former educator. And I've got a link to the trailer that we just talked about for uh, the the movie that he's working on now, and also to his IMDb so you can get all of his info. I've got all of that in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. 
Want to make your sweetheart smile next month for Valentine's Day? Find some fun matching shirts at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. We have a whole collection of fun shirts for you lovebirds. My wife rocks. My man rocks. We also have many silly shirts that will make you smile any day of the year. My ex-wife was a trophy wife. Participation trophy. Find something fun for a loved one, friend, or for yourself at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The longest wedding veil of all time was 63.5 football fields long. 63.5 football Football fields. fields. Yeah. (laughs) Maria Parskeva, a woman from Cyprus, got married in August of 2018. Her goal wasn't just to say I do. She wanted to make her I do's into somehow a Guinness World Record. She wanted the longest veil in the world. She fulfilled her dream by wearing a lacy veil that stretched two, oh, let's see, 22,843 oh, feet. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that was 2.11 inches longer than the last one. No, was it? Oh, that's 22,843 feet and 2.11 inches. I don't know how. Anyway, 63.5 football feels long. Then maybe they ran out of. Lace? You would think I don't know. that would be awfully heavy. To yeah, um, fifty-two eighty is a mile, so this is like uh, four miles long. Oh, wow. I okay, whatever. Yeah. See again. I don't to understand those. Own. I don't either. Those they don't want, things. I get some world records. This one, I don't get it. But there you go. It's today's fun fact. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, news headlines from somewhere in this world, Dateline Japan. Are you excited, Heidi? I am so so. excited. You look excited. Uh, Dateline Japan, a Japanese billionaire has posted a dating ad looking for a woman to join him for a trip to the moon. Okay. Would you go to the moon? No. Me neither. Uh, But I'm also not on whatever dating app he's on. I have a link to the story if you're going, I wanted to go on a moon for the date. (laughs) I wanted to do that, ladies. There's a link to it. Uh, it's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. This has been News Headlines from somewhere in this world. It's a new year. Have you made a resolution to quit drinking or to finally get away from drugs for good? These are both habits that are hard to kick, but you can do it. We want to help you. Timeforrehab.com is here to help you find the help you need with your particular situation. If you want to make this year the year you get the help you need, To live a normal life again, start with a little help from us at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. A man from upstate New York, he's definitely made the weird news. He was arrested for trafficking wild cats from Africa and selling them on a website called Exotic Cubs. 38-year-old Christopher Kasiki, I don't know if I said it right, imported and sold dozens of Caracals, it's a wild cat native to Africa, and uh, servals, known for their spotted coats. Federal government said that he obtained the cats by falsely le- declaring the animals as domestic breeds on shipping records. Happened uh, from February to June of 2018. Uh, the caracals are also known as desert lynx, can grow to be about 40 pounds. Both species are protected under the Endangered Species Act and cannot oh, no. legally be sold in the state of New York, where he was selling them. He's formerly from a small town outside of Buffalo, charged with violating the Lacey Act and the U.S. Welfare, I'm sorry, the U.S. Animal Welfare Act. He did plead not guilty, faces up to five years in prison if he's convicted. So there you go. What a weird story. It's why it's today's Weird News. Now your moment of duh, brought to you by singlestudentloan.com. According to local reports, a British socialite stole nearly $300,000 from a dementia-suffering grandmother to fund her lavish lifestyle. Gross. Yeah, this is really, really bad. 38-year-old Emily Evans Schreiber had about $50 to her name when she was given control of her 94-year-old grandmother's finances. 
The former model's mother became worried about the daughter's high life in London and brought, uh, bought her a house in Nansby, uh, taking, said, you know what, you stay here and take care of your grandmother. So it's the mom's oh fault. Oh, my gosh. Over the next eight months, she blew through $300,000 on jet-setting trips, oh, high-end hotels, cosmetic treatments. Gosh. Eventually, her mother became suspicious about how her jobless daughter was managing to afford all these luxurious lifestyle things, and she called the bank and the police. Statements show that she had about $300,000 uh, oh. transferred into her account, labeled as bills and care and savings, but it was all just wasted and wasted and wasted. She did plead guilty to a count of theft, and a judge handed down a two-year sentence, but it was suspended for 20 months. So does that mean she's only going to spend four months? I have no I idea. It's works. disgusting. Yeah, it's what bad. a horrible, horrible it's, person. It's a bad thing. It's why it's today's moment of duh. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, fake news or Florida? Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is this fake news made up just to trick you and amuse me? All righty. Ready? Okay, tell I'm me. ready. Fake news or Florida? A Lee County man attempted to rob a convenience store using his finger as a gun. Fake news or Florida? Florida. <laughs> it's a true story. I think we, we read, read that. I, say, I think we read that yeah, story. Yeah, I remember that. Um, and didn't he, like... He, did he get the cash and walked away? or did, I don't remember exactly how that went down. I don't down. remember how it went I got down. a link to the story. I guess I could click on it and read it. But, you know, look at the time. Going to probably have to do that later. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of The John and Heidi Show is brought to you by The John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying The John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Serena Williams. You know who that is? I do. She's a tennis, tennis player. Yeah, yep. Good job, Heidi. Good. We weren't really playing shout out the answer. <laughs> but I'm glad you did. Well, you look like you were struggling to... No. Okay. No, I was not strong. This is just me. <laughs> this is just me. Serena Williams, tennis player, donated prize money from a tennis match to uh, Australian relief efforts. And you might think, well, how much could that possibly? Well, take well, a listen a to this. She won her first big tennis champion title in three years. She's using the prize money to help with the Australian brush fire relief efforts. So uh, it was a total of, when she won this competition, about $43,000. Okay. Which, compared to some of the other donations to the wildfires, is not much. But when you look at it going, this is the first time she's won a big match. Right. I mean, I don't know how she's doing financially, but $43,000, its a it's a nice a thing for anybody. Yeah. Absolutely. She says, I've been playing Australia for over 20 years, and it's been really hard for me to watch all of the news and everything that's been happening in Australia with the fires and over a billion animals and people who've lost their homes. She said, so I decided that I would donate all of my prize money for a great cause. She joins a growing list of celebrities who have brought awareness to the ongoing wildfires and donated money towards relief efforts. Um, I've got a link to the story if you want to read all about it. And there's a picture of her there with this giant championship trophy. If I had one of those big trophies, I think I would just eat cereal out of it or something. (laughs) Like a big bowl. Wouldn't that be fun to do that? Sure. It would be awesome. Like a giant bowl of cereal out of one of those. I don't know. Maybe not. (laughs) I have my goals. You have yours. Uh, If you'd like to read the story, I do have a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend.